morning, Bryce. Good morning. What you eating? Tangerine. Tangerine. Is it yummy? But what? Guess what I just found out. What did you find out? They have seeds. Yeah. And, and what did you tell Daddy? They'll eat one every morning. But they have seeds. But you're doing good. Yep. You're just picking them out, huh? Uh huh. They taste yummy. Good for you too, huh? This is my last one. High five. Right. Oh, oh, what? Nickels? <laughs> because this is... Oh, sticky? Wet. Make sure you wash your hands when you're done, yeah. okay? It's review time, guys. As a supervisor, it is my job to write my team's end of the year reviews, annual performance reviews, talking about uh, their accountabilities or performance, how they did this year. Uh, which all in all sets them up for next year, for promotions, and ultimately depicts, d determines the annual raise that they get. So very important, very critical, and um, I have to write one for each person that reports to me, which at the moment happens to be seven individuals. Business has just been busy as hell, and now that I'm my new card has worn off, I am fully vested in the business. Things are coming, you know, problems are coming my way that I have to fix and solve for and, and take care of on a daily basis, putting out fires. Uh, my job is to remove roadblocks for my team. They come to me with an issue, I analyze the data that they give me, and I present them with solutions. It's what I do for a living. I love it, I absolutely love it. But nevertheless, there are other functions, other duties that I'm required to do that I just, I don't have time to do, such as reviews. So it is now 6 p.m., I'm just now heading home and you know, sometime tonight I'm gonna have to sit down, log on, and write at least one review. I have to get at least one done. And my self-assessment, I need to finish that too. I'm surprised my manager hasn't been like, where's your self-assessment at, dude? That just tells me he hasn't written my review either, so I don't feel that bad. Then again, he only has two to write, so it's really, you know, not much to compare. You can't really compare. <laughs> ah! Big Five Sporting Goods looking for new cleats from for Bryce, because uh, the ones he's using hurt his toes, and therefore are annoying when he runs. What do you think, Bryce? Should we get black ones? White ones? You want white cleats? Yeah. yeah. Or yellow? Should we get like bright yellow ones? Or like bright I'm on yeah. all the sizes. I can get to lines on all the sizes. Yeah? You have big feet like your dad. Men, I can fit the men. Let's see here. Let's see what mine are. Boom. <laughs> all the way out. Yeah, I'm, I'm a 13. Man, I used to love rollerblading back when I was a kid. You buy these types of rollerblades, right? But then you like modify them. You take the brake off and you like put a pad, like a, a, a smaller wheels, and you put like a, a grind plate in the middle. And then at some point, they actually made they actually made skates with the plates and the smaller wheels already, right? So you didn't have to modify them. And I don't see any of those type of skates here. These are all like sports ones that are just for like speed skating and exercise. I don't see like the trick ones anymore. Maybe they stopped making them, I don't know. Obviously skateboards and scooters are real big right now. In fact, my nephew Tyler's got this new Razor scooter. It looks a lot like this one. It's like really fast and he does tricks and stuff. Or at least he tries to do tricks. Are you doing tricks yet, Tyler? Let me know in the comments below because I know you watch these videos. Are you doing tricks? If you are, let me know what, which kind of tricks you're doing. And maybe submit a video. I think you should, I think that should be your first YouTube video is your tricks on your scooter. Have your dad build you a ramp, because I know, I know he knows how to make a ramp. Have him build you a ramp. Just don't break a leg, okay? You getting your cardio in? Not really exercising, just... Just lounging? I'm on the Okay, this is probably one of my worst park jobs ever. I'm like three feet from the back and angled at a side. This is why I hate my truck, because I can't park it worth crap. Yeah, look at that. Good stuff right there. All right, so we are at our fifth store looking for cleats for Bryce. We've gone to shoe stores, two shoe stores. We've gone to Walmart. We've gone to sporting goods store. Now we're at Target, and Mom is pretty confident that they have cleats in the sporting goods section. So that's where we're going. And if they don't, then he won't have cleats for this Saturday's game unless we make it to the mall sometime between now and then, which I doubt. And that'd be a negative. Five strikes, we're out. Bryce is wearing basketball shoes for his first game. Wait, say it again? I can go out on Thursday. On Halloween? You're gonna go out on Halloween? 
I'll go during the day without him. Oh, during the day, because you don't work. That's right. See, Mommy has a luxury, like today she cleaned all day. Well, she didn't vlog, by the way. You have to give her more crap in the comments. I know you guys love doing that. She didn't vlog at all today. She cleaned our bedroom, like from tip, from top to the bottom, completely dusted and cleaned it all out. Um, she feels very accomplished, even though that's all she did. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't, she didn't vlog any of it, so, so yeah. That, you didn't see her at all today, but that's what she was doing. Because she didn't work today. I literally have not sat down except for in the car to pick up the kids. So other than cleaning our bedroom, what else did you do? Grocery shop. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. And chopped vegetables and made dinner and chopped Yeah, fish. making dinner doesn't really count because you can kind of do that any but night. But still like non-stop on my feet doing something. Laundry. Oh, okay. Uh, cleaned our sheets, cleaned, I just said, <laughs> cleaned Bryce's sheets. Non-stop. All right, so as I said, mommy spent all day. I spent no. Mommy spent two hours cleaning our room from top to bottom. She sent me a few pictures. She actually picked up the mattress and cleaned out of the bed, dusted and everything. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. So we're gonna see how awesome it is. You ready? Here we go. I haven't seen it yet. Does it smell clean in here? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where'd the sex swing go? Wow, okay, so this, first of all, I have to say this is mommy's nightstand, much nicer. Now she can actually plug her phone in on her side. We'll move, we'll move her charger over here. Very clean, very nice. Oh my gosh! Guys, look at the, there's permanent indentions where the ironing board was, because the ironing board's literally been here for 10 years. It's never ah. moved. And there it is. Yes, yes. Very nice, very nice. Good job, Mommy, good job. No more dust, even the blinds, everything. She cleaned the blinds. Everything. Everything. Baseboards. Wow. Did you get up there? Did you get up there? Did you get up there? No. no. <laughs> Slacker. Uh, now I want to spend money. <laughs> I want to spend money. Yeah. Yeah. I want new bedding. New bedding. And then I'm going to want a new cool. shower curtain. That's like the next go in there. This right here. This it's pattern. It's 10 years old. This pa no, no, it's long. We, we had that We had that in our, our, our apartment before we bought our house. So we've been in our house for 10 years and we were living with her parents for maybe four months and we had it in our apartment for six months. So that's almost another year. So 11 years is how long we've had that purple like leaf theme and look at this this picture these little like wooden picture frames that are flowers and tulips that cup and this used to have some purple flowers like fake like silk flowers that were completely like dusted and she just threw them away but look we even still have our purple dustbin uh, um garbage trash can, can trash can original purple uh like cotton balls and uh cotton swabs i think one broke too there was a third one right Oh, it was the cup, wasn't it the cup? The cup for our toothbrushes. So all that purple stuff, that's original, like from our apartment back in the day before we were married, before any of the kids, yeah, like everything. So I, I'm with her about wanting to spend money and get rid of it because I'm so over the purple. So we took a little break from Taco Tuesday, but mommy resurrected it with the, her famous spaghetti tacos. We've had these one other time before. Basically she makes some kind of marinara noodle concoction, sticks them in tortilla shells, accompanied with some nice steamed broccoli. Sierra's favorite. It's kind of bell peppers now, but yeah. Yeah, I don't see you eating a big plate of bell peppers. You eat broccoli like that, but you don't eat bell peppers like that. I don't do that anymore. I don't do mm. broccoli much more. Mm. I do bell peppers. I am eating mine. You better. Oh, mommy's stepping it up in the world. She put a liner in her crock pot. Ready? Oh, awesome. Boom! Fastest clean job ever. Love it. And this is our leftovers for this weekend. Yay! So how are those tangerines? They're good. They're good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? What's the one issue with them? They have seeds. They have seeds. Which means you gotta pick them out, huh? Do cuties have seeds? Nope. Nope, they're seedless. That's why the cuties are good for kids. And they're easy to peel too. It's a marketing thing. They're genetically engineered to be kid-friendly. So something I wanted to mention to you guys, uh, you may have noticed um, an increase in some of the sponsored ads that I do in front of our videos, such as this one right here. They pay a lot more money than the normal Google ads that run, right? The Verizon ads and the movie commercials and stuff like that. Um, they, 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 they tend to pay a lot more. And so um, it's a, a special thing that's offered only through my network. And so when I have an opportunity to do something that I actually like, 
um, I jump on it. Um, I always, uh, when I get the opportunity to do a sponsored ad, I always go check out the channel, watch some of their videos, and if I like them and I think that you'll like them, then I do the ad. Um, there are some that I pass on, just straight up. I, I, I don't find the videos entertaining or enjoyable, and therefore I have no reason to promote them uh, to you guys. Because I, at the end of the day, I, I, I value your guys' opinion, I value your time. You're taking the time out of your day to watch these videos uh, every day, every other day, whatever you get around to watching them. And so I don't want to waste your time. The money that we make from these videos um, help us, you know, do fun things, which then go right back into making awesome videos for you guys to watch. So um, if we can make a little more money by doing some of the sponsored ads, uh, and promoting other channels in my network, then I'm going to do it. So um, hopefully you guys don't mind too much. It's my face and it's me talking, so it's just more of me, an extra 30 or 40 seconds of me talking about another YouTube channel. I'm curious, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about those. Um, do you prefer watching you know, a Verizon ad or, or an AT&T ad before the videos? Or um, you know, do you, you don't care either way? I, just curious, leave a comment down below, let me know what your, what your thoughts are on ads before videos. Tomorrow, Bryce's baseball practice and Sierra's volleyball practice. We'll see you then, vlog on. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click down here to subscribe for future videos or check out yesterday's vlog, last year's vlog, or other great channels that we have. Of course, all these links are down in the description if you're watching on a mobile or a tablet. We'll see you tomorrow.